everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. I'm here today to review the QQQs. Nice rally today. Saw this morning that we make it up over the high from Friday. And that's exactly what we did. Beautiful move here in the QQQs. This is just happening naturally. A natural rally. All of these days in here, like Friday where we had a little bit of a down day. And these other days in here where we had a little bit of a red day. And the teeny weeny little red day, which was last week really have not gone anywhere to the downside. Again, I had a lecture on pullbacks. It's on YouTube if you want to watch it. Do you see here how we're not pulling back? Do you see here how we're not pulling back? I'm not saying that we never pull back, but I'm saying that we're rallying. So therefore, get in the move if you want to be in the move. And let's just take a look at this here and see exactly where we went today. 113 was the one, 1275, 113. All right, hold on, we did get up to 112.75. Oh, I just saw something here. <gasps> I didn't even see that this morning when I saw that we rally over the high of Friday. Wait, let me just look at something here. Okay, so here's the next target. I really think here, this, let me just write this number down. What is this? This level here. This this is a great. I mean, this is just. I think we just continue. I, I know everyone thinks I'm crazy. We're up to how many days now? Let's just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, So here is the next area that we could run right up to here. You see this here? So 114.50-ish, 114.50-ish, 115-ish. We have to see how we act there. Once we get over 115, I think we just blow right over the high in the QQQs. And remember, the SPY has already made brand new all-time highs again last week. So this is, you know, it's about time that the QQQs start to catch up here. And we are doing it. So it'll be very interesting to see how we act tomorrow. I think we could have another bullish move tomorrow, a follow through on this. This follow through, this green bar body bar today could follow through actually for two more days. Two more days. It, it could follow through for another week. <laughs> no one believes me, but I'm telling you that the market's being bought. And this doesn't mean we never pull back, but I'm seeing some new levels here that we could set, that we could set that are so close that we may continue and then pull back to the upper levels. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we'll have to really see where we got tomorrow morning and how we act tomorrow, because I believe we have follow through here bullishly tomorrow and run up to that 115 area. So I don't know if we pull back at all before we run up to 115, but if we don't, then we run right up to 115-ish. And then the, uh, the level of support is around this area here, which I was just seeing here. You know what I mean? Like right around this area here or possibly even here because this is just very bullish. Nothing but strong strength and bullishness in the market and a great time of the year to be happening because it's earnings season and the market finally needs this lift. It needs this lift. It's been desperately wanting this lift all year and it's coming in. It's fine. We would not have a reversal over the high of Friday's bar and a, and a gap today that I would not have called aggressively to go long even though I thought we'd go over yesterday's high. I wouldn't have aggressively called this to go long but it worked and I knew that we go over the high but this was very aggressive to go long here in the morning. Very aggressive, and it worked. And we're continuing here, and it's only 1.30. In fact, let's just see how we acted in the open. Let me just go back. Ooh, yeah, this is, wow. Look at that, I'm just seeing this here now, but this would have been so aggressive to, to call. Let me go back. Wow, 
You could have gone on the market out of the gate today. That would have been so aggressive, but it held and has rallied up a buck. That is a gorgeous move, people. And that is institutional buying, if I've ever seen it, but I've been seeing it and calling it all along in the market. So one of the reasons I've called this market so well is because every day I can read the gaps and I read the gaps in the market and I read the gap this morning and saw we get up over the high of Friday. And every day I read the gaps and every day I'm saying we're higher and every day we're higher. And people have been shorting this market intraday. I said to a friend last week, that's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna go anywhere down at all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And you couldn't have made any money short in this market. The move to make money is going long, like today, or long in here, or long in here, or long under these bars in here intraday, or you should be long already overnight as a long-term trade because the market's higher and it's gonna make a new high. The QQQs will make a brand new all-time year before the end of 2016. The previous high was 120-ish and 50 and change. I don't know when we do that, but I know if we follow through here, we could go run right up to 215, I mean uh, 115, and that's not that far away from the 12050 area. And the spies have already done it. I mean, the spies are already just blasting up like a rocket. Oh, and look at this. We didn't do it yet in the spy. We haven't gone over the high Friday yet in the spy. So the cues are actually stronger right now, today in the live day, intraday, than the, than the spy. But overall, the, the chart and the bullishness in the chart and the spy has been stronger. So have a great day, everyone. Things are finally starting to make sense and everything's moving and it's a very exciting time to trade this month in July with the market rallying and everything looking amazing. And it's fantastic. If you'd like to learn more information, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com if you want to sign up for my Golden Gap class so you can learn how to read market directional bias. For futures, options, day trading, swing trading, anything you want to do in stocks or ETFs, uh, my system pretty much figures it all out, and that's the reason that I was able to call that this would even happen in the first place. Have a great day, everyone, and email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. Have a great night.